Hello from the Hillsboro Public Library. Today we've got another Maker Lab experiment for you. So what I've got in front of me here, and I may have, I've, we've probably already posted the instructions, but we're going to be making a cloud in a jar. What you're going to need is a clear glass jar. Pla plastic will work, but maybe not as well. Also going to need warm water, warm or hot. Um, and it's fun if you dye it, it makes it a little bit easier to see the experiment. I've also got ice, a flashlight, this is optional, and an aerosol. The best one to use is hairspray. I didn't have hairspray available, so I'm using Lysol disinfectant spray. Anything that aerosol should probably work for this experiment, but again, hairspray is going to be your best option if you've got a little bit of that. So, here's how it works. We're going to open up our jar, dump in our warm water, not too hot, because remember if your jar is glass, a lot of heat will cause that glass to expand rapidly and might break or crack. That's not something we want to do if we want to keep safe. So I've got my warm water in the jar there. I've got my ice here. So what I'm going to do is there's a couple of ways you can do this part. So I can use my uh, metal bowl of ice here. You can already feel that it's cold on the bottom because uh, heat, metal transfers heat very efficiently. Um, I can just put that on ahead on the top or if you don't have that and you just have some ice cubes, you can put a few ice cubes in the lid so it cools down the lid and get our spray, shake it up. And then as soon as you spray it in, you're going to want to put the lid onto the container. So now that I've got this lid cooled down, I'm going to spray in, cover it with the lid, put the ice back on top, keep it cool down. So now if you look in your jar, you should be able to see what's going on inside there. You might look at the sides. You might look at the top, but this is something that's difficult to see on camera, but if you do it at home, you should get a good uh, look at it. So what's going on is the water molecules from the hot water are mixing with the air. And when you add the cold uh, ice on the top, it cools the air at the top. And so what that does is causes those water molecules to, be to begin to condense. They begin to gather at certain points. Normally, it'll gather on the sides, It'll gather underneath the lid on the top, but when we spray the aerosol into the jar, the water molecules will gather on those little drops of aerosol, to whatever your spray is, and begin to form in the middle. And that'll form a little cloud. You can see that getting a little bit steamy, uh, a little bit mistier. If you're able to look closely in a lot of detail, and this is what the flashlight is for, you, can be, you should be able to see the swirling around of the cloud on the inside. That's those molecule, uh, water molecules that have gathered on the aerosol spray. I can see it from where I am. Again, it's difficult to see in a camera, but if you do this experiment at home, you should get some good results, especially if you use hairspray. So, now I'm going to go ahead and open the jar, and we'll take a look at that. Well, actually, before I do that, um, you may notice that there's some water dripping down the sides or dripping off of the off of the lid. That condensation, when it reaches a certain point, will cause it to drop or drip down. When there's enough water, when the water becomes dense and heavy enough to fall through the air, it'll slide down the side or it'll drip down. Or if this is a cloud out in the atmosphere, it'll rain. That's what causes the rain when the water condenses enough to drop through the air we get rain. So in addition to creating a cloud in a jar, you've actually might have created a little bit of rain. So if let's open this up. You can see that cloud escaping. It looks like it's steam, because steam is water vapor. And we've created the same thing. We've got a slow moving cloud rolling out of our jar. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. Yeah, can you see that cloud escaping there? Pretty fun, huh? Try it yourself. 
can also get a good look at the condensation on the top of the lid. That's all the water there that's collected. So try the experiment again. You might try it with a different color, a different size jar, hotter water, colder water. Feel free to mix up the experiment and record your results. I'd love to hear about them. Thanks for joining us at today's Maker Lab. We'll have something else for you next week. Have a good day.